Secondly, this is targeted at uh, newer members of the committee, but it's available to those uh, that might like a refresher. It's a course over three days, spread over a number of months, and there's the opportunity to mix and match uh, locations. We do recommend it for membership members of the committee. There's a requirement to fulfil the, uh, the first minus principle about group informed decision making, and the LGA who, who run this uh, event do issue a certificate confirming that that's the, the outcome of attending the training. So, as I say, we encourage members to attend if it's possible. Okay, we have had members who have attended these particular events in the past and have found great value in them. So, I would just encourage those new members to the committee, uh, if they could look at the dates and their availability. Um, as was mentioned earlier, we can uh, mix and match between locations and dates. So, those people would like to uh, take advantage of those training opportunities based upon our, our responsibilities as members of this committee to educate ourselves. Perhaps if they'd like to uh, contact Emma and uh, she will be happy to book a place. John, sorry. No. Okay. Uh, I know Brian spoke to me briefly, so if there's any more questions about that, uh, we can talk about it later, or, or certainly Emma will follow through. So we're happy to, to approve the recommendation that attendance by members be approved. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Agenda item 10, again, is... Um, Is talking about the employees annual conference. The employees annual conference again is where uh, uh, our employers are invited to attend uh, a conference held at uh, Entry Race Course uh, annually. Uh, this year it's on Thursday, the 26th of November. Uh, obviously, it's uh, uh, all members of this committee are invited to attend. It is educational and it, it, given the opportunity to uh, listen to presentations made by officers and guest speakers. So again, the recommendation is that we attend that event um, and note the contents of the report and information therein. Peter, have you got any comments you want to make? So happy to note the contents of that report and those who can make themselves available uh, attend the event. Okay. Uh, we have a local agenda item 11, a uh, local uh, authority pension fund forum conference, uh, which we as a pension fund are members, and in fact as chair, I am a board member uh, of this particular organisation. It's there to support and um, uh, assist uh, pension funds like ourselves to make representation uh, to the governments and external organisations. Uh, this is a useful event held in Bournemouth, um, and the dates for this particular conference on the 2nd to the 4th of December. Uh, the recommendation is usual that um, the chair and uh, party spokespersons attend. So uh, if we're happy to agree the recommendation that, that we attend that conference. Great, Again, agenda item 12, further educational events. Uh, this particular uh, report is where uh, an external organisation uh, provides uh, educational training events uh, in line with our fiduciary is that the word? responsibilities as, as members of, uh, of this committee to educate ourselves in, uh, in principles and, uh, of the pension fund. It's, uh, it's a well put together uh, day. I've event, attended two of these as you have, Jeff, is that right? Um, the well put together uh, training events. Uh, they do have them in, in, in nice uh, settings. This one's particular one's in the Tower of London uh, to try and encourage attendance. Um, and it's usual that we have training events and then a brief tour. That's hopefully we will get out of it. So those who'd like to attend, uh, if you could just make yourself known, uh, again, it has been uh, emphasised that uh, the fund does pay for attendance at this event. So for those who wish to attend, uh, we need to make sure that we do attend and take uh, full advantage of the training opportunities as they're made available. So it, again, um, this is open to any members who wish to attend, that's correct, isn't it? If the committee approves. So that is a recommended recommendation to the 
Exercise Committee that we uh, recommend approval for any members who wish to attend. Are we happy to approve that? Okay, this is where I jumped ahead before, sorry. Uh, so, agenda item 30, which is a review of potential unfunded liabilities for admission bodies with bonds or guarantors. And again, this is where on agenda item, uh, page number 117, that is um, an exempt uh, document appendix. Okay, so Yvonne? This report informs members of the annual review of potential exit debts for admission bodies assessed as of the 31st of March 2015. The exempt report contain, contains the estimated funds and financial guarantees for the employers named on the exempt schedule. In order to mitigate the fund's risk exposure and potential unfunded liabilities of each admission body, these, these risks are monitored. The calculation for this year's review were based on the 2013 evaluation with assets and liabilities rolled forward to the 31st of March 2015. The funding positions are approximate as they do not reflect membership movements and actual cash flow since the valuation, but are a reasonable basis to determine the level of the exposure. The assessments of the closure debts are based on a more, clo more cautious basis compared to ongoing funding arrangements. The basis of the calculation is outlined in section 2.7 of the report. And the bond requirements have significantly increased from those currently in force and which were secured following the 2013 evaluation. Section 2.11 notes that many admission bodies will find it difficult to obtain increased bond amounts due to financial pressures which will increase from next April as a result of the loss of the contract adult rebate. And section 3 highlights the risk that if the fund demands employees to increase the bonds based on a speculative event, it may force them into closure which could result in actual debts falling on all employers. The recommendation is that the bonds are not increased in accordance with the latest review, but are reassessed and reconsidered as part of the triennial evaluation. Thank you. I'm happy to take any questions. No questions on that then. Okay, so obviously. Um, we're happy to go with the recommendation that in line with current financial pressures on our employers that we leave um, bond requirements as per the 2013 levels. Happy to go with that recommendation? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, agenda item 14 is a minute to the Investment Monitoring Working Party uh, as held on the 19th of June 2015. Those in attendance are happy to approve uh, the minutes as an accurate record. Is that agreed? And just a reminder that we do have uh, once again uh, an investment monitoring working party meeting on Thursday at 12 o'clock at the QNAR building. Agenda item 15 is the approval of the minutes of the Governance and Investment Working Party. Um, held on the 30th of June 2015. And those who are in attendance are happy to approve the minutes as we have them before us. Of exempt information 
as defined by the relevant paragraph of part one of Schiffer 12a as amended to that act. The public interest test has been applied and favours exclusion. Is that agreed? Agreed. Thank you. Need to second that. Yeah, proposer? Seconded. Seconded, Phil. Thank you. So all agreed? Agreed. Thank you. So I'll just thank the 